The fact that U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin was hospitalized a few days ago without informing anyone sparked widespread criticism in American circles, and officials said that senior officials in the administration of President Joe Biden, the Pentagon and Congress, were not aware for several days. On Saturday, the U.S. Department of Defense, Pentagon, announced that Austin was transferred to the hospital on 1 January 2024, explaining that his health is currently good, amid media criticism for the delay in the announcement. Pentagon spokesman Pat Ryder explained that Austin's transfer to the hospital came due to complications that appeared after he had surgery, he did not mention the timing of it, pointing out that his health condition is good and heading to improve, indicating that they are waiting for him to return to continue his work. A U.S. official said that Biden was informed only on Thursday evening, noting that the U.S. president still retains his trust in Austin. A second official said Biden and Austin spoke together on Saturday evening, according to Reuters. The Associated Press quoted officials as saying that the Pentagon did not inform the White House National Security Council or its chief advisor Jake Sullivan of Austin's hospitalization until Thursday. The concealment of Austin's admission to the hospital for several days reflects an amazing lack of transparency about his illness and how serious it is, adding that this secrecy comes at a time when the United States is suffering from a myriad of national security crises. Austin said in a statement on Saturday that he takes full responsibility, for the secrecy that surrounded his stay in the hospital for a week, due to his undisclosed medical condition. Austin is directly next to Biden at the top of the U.S. military chain of command, and his duties require that he be available at any moment to deal with any form of national security crisis, and it remains unclear to what extent his duties were delegated to his deputy Kathleen Hicks, or whether he participated in any important decisions during his absence. But the Associated Press agency quoted U.S. officials that many Pentagon leaders were also unaware of Austin's presence in the hospital until last Friday. Several U.S. officials said on Saturday that several senior service leaders at the Pentagon were unaware until Friday that Austin was in the hospital. The officials spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss private conversations. Politico was the first to report that the White House learned about his condition on Thursday. The newspaper, Politico, the first among several U.S. media, revealed that Austin spent three days in the hospital before Pentagon officials informed Jake Sullivan and senior officials at the White House about this.